All right, so this is gonna be a video about function transformations. And we're gonna be using the parent functions that we're gonna be going over in the class. So if you can see right here, I have a linear parent function here, and then I have a quadratic square root, absolute value, um, cubed, cubic, and then cube root. So I have all of the ones that we're gonna be going over in class specifically to go over these transformations and to kind of help me with these transformations. I'm gonna be using this Desmos file that you see right in front of you here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you what each of these variables is H this a, this h, and this k right here do to these parent functions. Now we could start with a linear function like this one right here, but it's kind of hard to actually see the transformations that are happening to this linear. So I'm actually gonna skip this one for now, and I'm gonna focus on the quadratic one. So we're gonna be going over this quadratic first, okay? So we have this a parentheses x plus h and parentheses squared plus k. And we're gonna see what happens with this a, this h, and this k and how it basically transforms this parent function. So as it is right now on the screen, this is a parent function. So what I'm gonna do now is, first thing I'm gonna do is, is change my a value. And I'm only gonna be primarily focusing on the a values of negative one and one for this video. So I'm not actually going to be showing what happens if you change the a value. Basically, it, it, would, just, it would just either expand out the function or it would compress the function. But uh, for, for this one in particular, I'm just gonna be focusing on one and negative one. So if I actually went to zero for this, it would just flatline this entire um, this entire graph right here. So it's actually not quadratic anymore. So based on the definition of quadratic, this would not be that way because it's just y equals zero because I put a zero in here and k is equal to zero. So we are not gonna be using zero. Here's one, so that's with the standard quadratic. And then if you actually turn it to negative one, it starts pointing downward. So if that A value, whatever this value is in front, if it's negative, it's gonna be pointed downward. If it's positive, it's gonna be pointed upwards. So that's that first transformation. Now this works with any of the parent functions. So if I turn the quadratic off and turn the square root on, so I have a square root parent function right here. If I change my A, again, if I go to zero, it's just gonna be graphing the zero here. Um, and then I go to negative one, it just basically flips it to the other side. So I'm gonna. So again, from here and then to here, okay? So that's basically what my A does. And it says it, I'll do a show you for the absolute value one. We have the V and then we have something like that's shaped like an A. Okay, turn that off. If you do the cubic, it points up like that. Then it points like that, okay? And then the last one, cube root, points like this, points like this. So it just kind of flips it. So that's what the A does, okay? Now let's go back to my quadratic here. Now the H basically, uh, it does a specific shift here. So it says, it says X plus H in parentheses. So it's, it's with the with a, with a X, the H is with the X in this case. Now if you change it to something that's positive, so I'm going up to positive 10 here. So if you change this, it ends up going to the left. Okay, so I'm just incrementally going up by one. If you go negative with it, it ends up going to the right. Okay, so it's kind of backwards of what you might assume would happen. So if you if you add this h and it's a positive value, it's actually going to go to the left. If you add it to the if you add uh, a negative value to it, so if I was adding like negative one, it goes to the right. Okay, now this happens with every single one of the parent functions. So if I if I change the h here, you notice it shifts to the left. If I go positive, if I go negative, it shifts to the right. And again, it does it. It does it for all of them. I'm kind of, I'm not going to really run through all of these. Um, this 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 uh, Desmos file is also going to be linked on the uh, on the page too. So if you want to click on that, you can actually experiment this with more with this yourself. It's kind of better if you did that anyway, just so you can kind of play with the math. Um, and then this K right here, if K goes positive, so right now K is zero. So it's this plus K. If you go positive, it goes up, as you can see. It goes up as you can see. And then if you go negative, it goes down. Again, and this happens with every single one of the, uh, the the graph. So as you can see, positive and negative, it goes up and down. So that's basically the, the simple tr function transformations uh, of this A, H, and K, basically showing you what it does to the parent functions. I definitely recommend checking out the file and experimenting with yourself. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.